So what's up YouTube? So right now I am going to do this makeup look and my husband is going to do the voiceover. Hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. Comment below. And then watch the video. Hey, what's up you guys? Today I am joining you and voicing over and instructing you on how to apply makeup. Now my wife, she likes to start off with the cabrow uh, eyebrow thickener and like to apply it and thicken it up, make it thick. And once the, you have completed that, you'd like to generally go on the other side. You'd like to add more thickener to make it, again, more thick. Now afterwards, you'd like to take the signature eyebrow pencil again and just outline the eyebrow that you are applying it to. Hmm. Be sure to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And now just continue to thicken it up some more. And again, general rule of thumb, when you do one side, you'd like to do the other. Just thicken it up some more. And up next, I'd like to take a brow scara and apply it. Afterwards, take another eyebrow scara, apply some more. Next, you'd like to take the blur primer and apply it to the face all over make sure you get it everywhere next rub it in make sure you get all of it afterwards we'd like to take some what is this? You'd like to take a brush and oh, and apply it to the eyebrow. Make sure you get rid of those overdraws that you have made. You know, get rid of the mistakes. And again, general rule of thumb. I cannot stress this enough. When you do one side, you have to do the other. And once that is all done, we'd like to take some foundation oh, and the squishy pillow. Apply it to the cheek and again afterwards I will apply it to the other. Make sure you get it in there. You'd like to get it all over your nose and in your eyes, um, maybe on the forehead, chin area. And it's at about this point that you want your face to look like a geisha. Apply more whiter makeup. 
make some lines here, there, everywhere. And once that is all done, again, I can't stress enough how much you want to blend it all in. The key to all this I find for my wife is blending. After that is all done, you'd want to take this little hockey puck and start applying it under the eyes. Make sure you get it on the little soft pillow and continue on. Now, afterwards, after that is all said and done with, we'd like to take the shadow palette. Uh, this one oh, is from Charity's BoxyCharm. Uh, you take a brush and then apply it to the eyes. And darken it a little bit. And again, I cannot stress how much you need to apply it to the other side. Now finally we will do the other side afterwards, after making one side look partially like a black eye. Now after all that is said and done with, you want to take some brown and add it on the lower part of your eye. That way it could create a more shadowy kind of complexity to it. Now you'd like to add some glitter just to give it a little sparkle and again just above the eye, not too high. And just apply it with your finger, a little nice middle finger to the world, yes. And perfect. Next you want to add in some gold and this will be just at the corner of the eye and a little bit below and perfect next you want to take your Shane Dawson's conspiracy palette and you want to grab the darker color and apply it to the other end of your eye And to the other. Just keep on applying it and make sure that it's quite in there. And then up next, we'd like to take a bigger brush and apply some blush. Get that little bit of pinkness in there to make it look like you have, you know, some tone to your skin. 
applied all over under the neck on the cheeks a little bit on the forehead and then add some more blush and after all that you'd like to take a toothbrush and then just add a little bit onto the nose to make it look a bit contoured and again just nothing wrong with a little bit more blush and now afterwards, you want to take your brow scara and apply it to both ends of the eyebrow. And afterwards, you want to cut your eyelashes with an eyelash curler and then afterwards apply some mascara. Now, after all that is done, you want to take some lip gloss and apply it to your lips. I'd imagine that's where it would go. After that is all done, you will have some perfect luscious lips. And just apply some, what I imagine is lip stain. Make sure that it's perfect. After that is all done, you want to take what looks to be face balm and apply it to the rest of the face. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, we're not done yet. And just spray your face after it's all done and just let the makeup run down. All Hope right. you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.